All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of three. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula. And it states that if I take the W of something in the form A times E to the power of A, then this is equal to A. So this is the W Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the W Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form A times E to the power of A. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and I have this times ln x is equal to ln 3 so now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, I get w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. And this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the w on both sides. So I get w of ln 3. And then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to w of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem three to the power of 13 minus three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as three to the power of 12 plus one minus three. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 3 to the power of 12 times 3 to the power of 1 minus 3. And from here, I can factor out 3. So I get 3 times 3 to the power of 12 minus 1. Now 3 to the power of 12, I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 6 times 2. And that's equal to 3 times 3 to the power of 6 to the power of 2 minus one squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into three times 729 plus one times 729 minus one. This is equal to 730 times 728 So from here, I'm gonna rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to three times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30.
Now this is equal to three times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to three times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my answer.